Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. This is the Old Testament in 88 days, and we're on day 25. Today we'll be finishing up Joshua, reading chapters 13 through 24. So, a lot to get into today, so let's start. Right. Joshua 13. Now Joshua was old and stricken in years, and Yahweh said unto him, Thou art old and stricken in years, and there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. This is a land that yet remaineth all the borders of the Philistines, and all Geshuri, from Sihor, which is before Egypt, even unto the borders of Ekron northward, which is counted the Canaanite. Five lords of the Philistines, the Gazathites, and the Ashdothites, the Eshkelonites, the Gittites, the Ekronites, and the Avites. From the south all the land of the Canaanites and Merah, that is beside the Sidonians, unto Aphek, to the borders of the Amorites, and the land of the Giblites, and all Lebanon toward the sun rising from Balgad, under Mount Hermon, unto the entering unto Hamath. All the inhabitants of the hill country from Lebanon unto Misrephothamim, and all the Sidonians, them will I drive out from before the children of Israel. Only divide thou it by lot unto the Israelites for an inheritance, as I have commanded thee. Now therefore divide this land for an inheritance unto the nine tribes and the half-tribe of Manasseh, with whom the Reubenites and the Gadites have received their inheritance, which Moses gave them beyond Jordan eastward, even as Moses the servant of Yahweh gave them, from error that is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain of Medeba unto Debon, and all the cities of Sihon king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, unto the border of the children of Ammon, and Gilead in the border of the Ge Geshurites, and the Machathites, and all Mount Hermon, and, unto, and all Bashan unto Salka. All the kingdom of Og and Bashan, which reigned in Ashtaroth and in Edri, who remained of the remnant of the giants, for these did Moses smite and cast them out. Nevertheless, the children of Israel expelled not the Geshurites, nor the Machathites, but the Gershurites and the Machathites dwell among the Israelites unto this day. Only unto the tribe of Levi he gave none inheritance. The sacrifices of Yahweh, Elohim of Israel, made by fire, are their inheritance. As he said unto them, and Moses gave unto the tribe of the children of Reuben inheritance according to their families, and their coast was from error that is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain by Medeba. Eshbon and all her cities that are in her plain, Dibon and Amothbal and Bethbalmeon and Jahza and Kedemoth and Mephpathath and Kirjathim, and Sibma, and Zareth Shabar in the mount of the valley, and Beth Peor, and Ashtoth Pisgah, and Beth Jeshimoth. And all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, whom Moses smote with the prince, princes of Midian, Evi, and Rechem, and Zur, and Hur, and Reba, which were dukes of Sihon dwelling in the country. Balaam, also the son of Beor, the soothsayer, did the children of Israel slay with a sword among them that were slain by them. And the border of the children of Reuben was Jordan, and the border thereof. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben after their families, the cities and the villages thereof. And Moses gave inheritance unto the tribe of Gad, even to the children of Gad, according to their families. And their coast was Jazer, and all the cities of Gilead, and half the land of the children of Ammon unto Error, that is before Rabbah. And from Heshbon unto Ra, Ramath Mispeh, and Betonim, and from Mahanaim unto the border of Debir, and in the valley Beth Aram, and Beth Nirmah, and Sakath and Zaphon, and the rest of the kingdom of Sihon, king of Heshbon, Jordan in his border, even unto the edge of the sea of Chinareth, on the other side, Jordan eastward. This is the inheritance of the children of Gad after their families, the cities, and their villages. And Moses gave inheritance unto the half tribe of Manasseh, and this was the possession of the half tribe of the children of Manasseh by their families. And their coast was from Mahanaim, all Bashan, all the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, and all the towns of Jer, which are in Bashan, three score cities, and half Gilead. 
and Ashtaroth and Edri, cities of the kingdom of Og and Bashan, were pertaining unto the children of Machir, the son of Manasseh, even to the one half of the children of Machir by their families. These are the countries which Moses did distribute for inheritance in the plains of Moab on the other side Jordan by Jericho eastward. But unto the tribe of Levi Moses gave not any inheritance, but Yahweh Elohim of Israel was their inheritance, as he said unto them. Joshua 14 these are the countries which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eliezer the priest and Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel, distributed for inheritance to them. By lot was their inheritance, as Yahweh commanded by the hand of Moses, for the nine tribes and for the half-tribe. For Moses had given the inheritance of two tribes and a half-tribe on the other side Jordan, but unto the Levites he gave none inheritance among them. The children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim, therefore they gave no part unto the Levites in the land save cities to dwell in, with their suburbs and for their cattle and their substance. As Yahweh commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua and Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Japuna, the Kenanzite, said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that Yahweh said unto Moses, the man of Elohim concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barnea. For years, forty years old, was I when Moses the servant of Yahweh sent me from Kadesh Barnea to espy out the land, and I brought him word again as it was in mine heart. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly followed Yahweh my Elohim. And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance and thy children's forever, because thou hast wholly followed Yahweh my Elohim. And now, behold, Yahweh hath kept me alive, as he said, these forty and five years, even since Yahweh spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. As yet I am strong this day, as I was in the day that Moses sent me, as my strength was then, even so is my strength now, for war both to go out and to come in. Now therefore give me this mountain, whereof Yahweh spake in that day, for thou heardest in the day how the Anakims were there, and that the cities were great and fenced, if so be that Yahweh will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as Yahweh said. And Joshua blessed him, and gave unto Caleb the son of Japuna Hebron for an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb the son of Japuna, the Kenizzite, unto this day, because that he wholly followed Yahweh, Elohim of Israel. And the name of Hebron before was kirth which Arba was a great man among the Anakims, and the land had rest from war. Joshua 15 this then was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah by their families, even to the border of Edom, the wilderness of Zin southward, was the uttermost part of the south coast. And their south border was from the shore of the salt sea from the bay that looketh southward, and it went out to the south side to mal Rabin, and passed along to Zin and ascended up on the south side to Kadesh Barnea and passed along to Hebron, Hezron, and went up to Adar, and fetched a compass to Karka. From there, thence it passed toward Asmom, and went out unto the river of Egypt, and the goings out of, of that coast were at the sea. This shall be your south coast. And the east border was the Salt Sea, even unto the end of Jordan. And their border in the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the uttermost part of Jordan. And the border went up to Beth Holga, and passed along by the north of Beth Araba. And the border went up to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben. And the border went up toward Debir from the valley of Akkor, and so northward looking toward Gilgal, that is before the going up of Adumim, which is on the south side of the river. And the border passed toward the waters of Enshemesh, and the goings out thereof were at Enrogal. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom unto the south side of the Jebusite, the same as Jerusalem, and the border went up to the top of the mountain that lieth before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is at the end of the valley of, of the giants northward. And the border was drawn from the top of the hill unto the fountain 
of the water of Nephtoah, it went out to the cities of Mount Ephron, and the border was drawn to Balal, which is Kirthjath Jerim. And the border compassed from Balal westward unto the Mount Seir, and passed along unto the side of Mount Jerim, which is Chesalon. On the north side it went down to Bethemesh, and passed on to Timnah. And the border went out unto the side of Ekron northward, and the border was drawn to Shikron, and passed along to Mount Bala, and went out unto Jabneel, and the goings out of the border were at the sea. And the coast westward was to the great sea, and the coast thereof. This is the coast of the children of Judah round about according to their families. And unto Caleb the son of Japuna he gave a part among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of Yahweh to Joshua, even the city of Arba, the father of Anak, which the city is Hebron. And Caleb drove thence the three sons of Anak, Sheshai and Ahiman, and Talmi, the children of Anak. And he went up thence to the inhabitants of Debir in the, in the name of Debir before Kirjath Sefer. And Caleb said, He that smiteth Kirjath Sefer, and taketh it, it to him will I give Akasa, my daughter to wife. And Othniel, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave him Aksa, his daughter to wife. And it came to pass as she came un unto him that she moved him to ask of her father a field, and she lighted off her ass. And Caleb said unto her, What wouldest thou? Who answered, Give me a blessing, for thou hast given me a south land. Give me also springs of water. And he gave her the upper springs and the nether springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah according to their families. And the uttermost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah toward the coast of Edom southward were Kabzeel and Eder and Jagur and Kenna and Dimona and Adadad and Kadesh and Hazar and Ithnan, Zip and Telem and Beoloth and Hazar, Hadat and Keroth and Hezron, which is Hazor, Amam and Shema and Molada and Hazar Gada and Heshemon and Beth Palat and Hazar Shul and Beersheba and Bizjothja, Bala and Lim and Ezim and El Eltolad and Chesil and Homar and Ziklag and Madmana and Sansana and Lebath and Shilhim and Ain and Rimon. All the cities are twenty and nine with their villages. And in the valley of Eshtual, and Zoreth, and Ashna, and Zanoah, and Enganim, and Tupapua, and Enam, Jarmoth, and Adulam, Sokah, and Azekah, and Shararim, and Adathaim, and Gedera, and Gederothaim, fourteen cities with their villages, Zanan, and Hadasha, and Migdalagad, and Delin and Mizpah and Jokthiel, Lakish and Bozkath and Eglon and Kabon and Laman and Kithlish and Gedroth, Beth Dagon and Nama and Makeda, sixteen cities with their villages, Libna and Ether and Ashan and Egypta and Ashna and Nezib and Kelia and Azkib and Merash, nine cities with their villages. Ekron with her towns and her villages, from Ekron even to the sea, all that lay near Ashdod with their villages, Ashdod with her towns and villages, Gaza with her town and her villages, unto the river of Egypt, and the great sea and the border thereof, and in the mountains Shamir and Jatir, and Sukkoth, and Dana, and Kirjath Sana, which is Debir, and Anab, and Eshtemoth, and Anim, and Goshen, and Holon, and Gilo. Eleven cities with their villages. Arab and Dunma and Eshian and Janum and Beth Tapua and Apeka and Humta and Kirtjartharba, which is Hebron and Zior, nine cities with their villages. Maon, Carmel and Zip and Juta and Jezreel and Jokadim and Zanoa, Cain, Gibeah and Timna, ten cities with their villages. Alhu, Bethzur, and Geder, and Marath, and Beth Anoth, and El Tekon, six cities with their villages. Kirthjah Baal, which is Kirthjah Darim, and Rabbah, two cities with their villages. In the wilderness, Beth Arabah, Midin, and Sekekah, 
at Nibshan and the city of Salt in Engedi, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah could not drive them out, but the Jebusites dwell with the children of Judah at Jerusalem unto this day. Joshua 16. And the lot of the children of Joseph fell from Jordan by Jericho unto the water of Jericho on the east side to the wilderness that goeth up from Jericho throughout Mount Bethel, and goeth out from Bethel to Luz and passed along the borders of Arki to Artaroth, and goeth down westward to the coast of Jopleti unto the coast of Beth Horon, the nether, and to Gezer, and the goings out thereof are at the sea. So the children of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim took their inheritance, and the border of their children of Ephraim, according to their families, was thus. Even the border of their inheritance on the east side was Ataroth Dar, unto Beth Horon, the upper. And the border went out toward the sea of Michmethah on the north side, and the border went about eastward unto Tanath Shiloh, and it passed by it on the east side to Janoha. And it went down from Janoha to Ataroth and to Naurath, and came to Jericho, and went out at Jordan. The border went out from Tapua westward unto the river Cana, and the goings out thereof were at the sea. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim by their families. And the separate cities for the children of Ephraim were among the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages. And they drave not out the Canaanites that dwelt in Gizer, but the Canaanites dwell among the Ephraimites unto this day, and serve under tribute. Joshua 17 There was also a lot for the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph, to wit for Machir, the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, because he was a man of war, therefore he had Gilead and Bashan. There was also a lot for the rest of the children of Manasseh by their families, for the children of Abizer, and for the children of Helek, and for the children of Asriel, and for the children of Shechem, and for the children of Hefer, and for the children of Shemida. These were the ma male children of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, by their families. But Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, had no sons but daughters. And these are the names of his daughters, Mahla, and Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Terza. And they came near before Eliezer the priest, and before Joshua the son of Nun, and before the princes, saying, Yahweh commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brethren. Therefore, according to the commandment of Yahweh, he gave them an inheritance among the brethren of their father. And there fell ten po portions to Manasseh beside the land of Gilead and Bashan, which were on the so other side of Jordan. Because the daughters of Manasseh had an inheritance among his sons, and the rest of Manasseh's sons had the land of Gilead, and the coast of Manasseh was from Asher to Michmelah, Metha, that lieth before Shechem, and the border went along the right hand unto the inhabitants of Entapua. Now Manasseh had the land of Tapua, but Tapua on the border of Manasseh belonged to the children of Ephraim. And the coast descended unto the river Cana, southward of the river. These cities of Ephraim are among the cities of Manasseh. The coast of Manasseh also was on the north side of the river, and the outgoings of it were at the sea. Southward it was Ephraim's, and northward it was Manasseh's, and the sea is his border, and they met together in Asher on the north end in Issachar on the east, and Manasseh had it in Issachar and in Asher, Beth Sheen and her towns, and Ibelim and her towns, and the inhabitants of Dor and her towns, and the inhabitants of Endor and her towns, and the inhabitants of Tanakh and her towns, and the inhabitants of Megiddo and her towns, even three countries. Yet the children of Manasseh could not drive out the inhabitants of those cities, but the Canaanites would dwell in that land. Yet it came to pass when the children of Israel were waxen strong that they put the Canaanites for tribute, but did not utterly drive them out. And the children of Joseph spake unto Joshua, saying, Why hast thou given me but one lot and one portion to inherit, seeing I am great people, for as much as Yahweh hath blessed me hitherto? Joshua answered them, If thou be a great people, then get thee up to the wood country and cut down for thyself there, in the land of the Pezzarites and of the giants, if Mount Ephraim be too narrow for thee, 
The children of Joseph said, The hill is not enough for us, and all the Canaanites that dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron, both they who are of Beth Sheen and her towns, and they who are of the valley of Jezreel. Joshua spake unto the house of Joseph, even to Ephraim, and to Manasseh, saying, Thou art a great people, and hast great power. Thou shalt not have only, have one lot only. But the mountain shall be thine, for it is a wood, and thou shalt cut it down, and, and the outgoings of it shall be thine. For thou shalt drive out the Canaanites, though they have iron chariots, and though they be strong. Joshua 18 And the whole congregation of the children of Israel assembled together at Shiloh, and set up the tabernacle of the congregation there, and the land was subdued before them. And there remained among the children of Israel seven tribes which had not yet received their inheritance. And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, How long are ye slack to go to possess the land which Yahweh Elohim of your fathers hath given you? Give out from among you three men for each tribe, and I will send them, and they shall rise and go through the land, and describe it according to the inheritance of them, and they shall come again to me. And they shall divide it into seven parts. Judah shall abide in their coast on the south, and the house of Joseph shall abide in their coast on the north. Ye shall therefore describe the land into seven parts, and bring the description hither to me, that I may cast lots for you here before Yahweh our Elohim. But the Levites have no part among you, for the priesthood of Yahweh is their inheritance, and Gad and Reuben and half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance behind Jordan on the east, which Moses the servant of Yahweh gave them. And the men arose and went away, and Joshua charged them that went to describe the land, saying, Go and walk through the land, and describe it, and come again to me, that I may here cast lots for you to be before Yahweh in Shiloh. And the men went and passed through the land and described it by cities into seven parts in a book and came again to Joshua the host at Shiloh. And Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before Yahweh. And there Joshua divided the land unto the children of Israel according to their divisions. And the lot of the tribe of the children of Benjamin came up according to their families and the coast of their lot came forth between the, the children of Judah and the children of Joseph. And their border on the north side was from Jordan and the border went up to the side of Jericho on the north side, and went up through the mountains westward, and the goings out thereof were at the wilderness of Beth Haven. And the border went over from thence toward Luz to the side of Luz, which is Bethel southward. And the border descended to Atarothadar, near the hill that lieth on the south side of the nether Beth Horon. And the border was drawn thence, and compassed the corner of the sea southward from the hill that lieth before Beth Horon, southward, and the goings out thereof were at Kirjath Baal, which is Kirjath Jerim, a city of the children of Judah. This was the west quarter. The south quarter was from the end of Kirjath Jerim, and the border went out on the west, and went out to the well of waters of Nephtoah. The border came down to the end of the mountain that lieth before the valley of the son of Hinnom, and which is in the valley of the giants on the north, and descended to the valley of Hinnom, to the side of Jebusi on the side, and descended to Enrogel. It was drawn from the north, and went forth to Enneshmesh, and went forward, forth toward Geloloth, which is over against the going up of Adumim, and descended to the stone of Bohan the son of Reuben, and passed along toward the side over against Araba northward, and went down unto Araba. The border passed along to the side of Beth Holga northward, and the outgoings of the border were at the north bay of the Salt Sea, at the coast at the south end of Jordan. This was the south coast. And Jordan was the border of it on the east side. This was the inheritance of the children of Benjamin, by the coast thereof round about according to their families. Now the cities of the tribe of the children of Benjamin according to their families were Jericho and Beth Holga in the valley of Kiziz, and Beth Araba and Zemarim, and Bethel and Evim and Para and Ophrah, and Chef Har Hamonai, and Ophni and Gabi Gaba, twelve cities with her villages, Gibeon and Rama and Biroth, and Mizpah, and Chepiria, and Moza, and Rechem, and Erpil, and Taralah, 
and Zera, Zela, Eleph, and Jebusi, which is Jerusalem, Gibeath, and Kirjath, 14 cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Benjamin according to their families. Joshua 19. There we go. And the second lot came forth to Simeon, even for the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their families, and their inheritance was within the inheritance of the children of Judah. And they had in their inheritance Beersheba, or Sheba, and Molada, and Hazar, Shul, and Bala, and Azem, and El Tolad, and Bethel, and Hormah, and Ziklag, and Bethmar Kaboth, and Hazrushua, and Beleth Boath, and Sharhuen, thirteen cities and their villages. Ain, Remam, and Ether, Ashan, four cities and their villages. And all the villages that were round about these cities to Baalath Beer, Ramath of the south, this is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their families. Out to the portion of the children of Judah was the inheritance of the children of Simeon, for the part of the children of Judah was too much for them. Therefore the children of Simeon had their inheritance within the inheritance of them. And the third lot came up for the children of Zebulun according to their families, and the border of their inheritance was unto Sarid, and their border went up toward the sea, and Merilah, and reached to Dabasheth, and reached to the river that is before Jachnim. And turned from Sarid eastward toward the sunrise into the border of Chilis of the Tabor, and then goeth out to Deborah, and goeth up to Japhia. And from thence passeth along the east to Gita Hefer, to Ita Kazin, and goeth out to Ramon Methor, to Nia. And the border compasseth it on the north side to Hanathon, and the outgoings thereof are in the valley of Jephthahil. And Kata and Nahalal and Shimron and Idala and Bethlehem, twelve cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Zebulun according to their families, these cities and their villages. And the fourth lot came out of Issachar for the children of Issachar according to their families, and their border was toward Jezreel and Chesaloth and Shunan, and Hapharim and Shihon and Anaharath and Rabbith and Kishon and Abez and Remeth and Enganim, and Enhada, and Beth Pazes, and the coast reacheth to Tabor, and Shahazima, and Beth Shemesh, and the outgoings of their border were at Jordan, sixteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Issachar, according to their families, the cities, and their villages. And the fifth lot came out of the tribe of the children of Asher according to their families, and their border was Helkath and Hali and Beten and Akshva and Alamech and Amad and Mishil and reacheth to Carmel westward into Shehor Libnath and turned toward the sun rising to Beth Dagon and reached to Zebulon and to have into the valley of Jibthanhil toward the north side of Bethemek and Neil and goeth out to Kabul on the left hand. And Hebron and Rehob and Ahamon and Cana even unto great Sidion. And then the coast turneth to Ramah and to the strong city Tyr, and, to, and the coast turneth to Hosah, and the outgoings thereof are at the sea from the coast to Akzib. Uma also in Afek and Rehob, twenty and two cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Asher, according to their families, these cities with their villages. Sixloth came out to the children of Naphtali, even for the children of Naphtali, according to their families. And the coast was from Helef, from Alon to Zananim, and Admi, Nekeb, and Jabneel, unto Lakum, and the outgoings thereof were out to Jordan. And then the coast turneth westward to Asnoth Tabor, and goeth out from thence to Hakuk, and reacheth to Zebulon on the south side, and reacheth to Ashtar on the west side and to Judah upon Jordan toward the sun rising. And the fenced cities are Zidim, Zer, and Hamath, Rakath, and Chinareth, and Adama, and Ramath, and Hazor, and Kadesh, and Idri, and Enhazor, and Iron, and Migdalil, Horem, and Beth Benethahanath, 
and Beth Shemesh, 19 cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Tali, according to their families, the cities, and their villages. And the seventh lot came out for the tribe of the children of Dan, according to their families, and the coast of their inheritance was Zorah, and Eshtol, and Ershemesh, and Mishal, Wabim, and Ajalon, and Jethalah, and Elon, and Thimnahath, and Ekron, and El Tikka, and Gibbonathon, and Balath, and Jehud, and Benabarak, and Gathrimon, and Merjakon, and Rakon, with the border before Japho. And the coast of the children of Dan went out too little for them. Therefore the children of Dan went up to fight against Leshem, and took it, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and possessed it, and dwelt therein, and called Leshem Dan after the name Dan their father. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Dan, according to their families, these cities with their villages. When they had made an end of dividing land for inheritance by their coast, the children of Israel gave an inheritance to Joshua the son of Nun among them. According to the word Yahweh, they gave him the city which he asked for, even Timnath Sarah, in Mount Ephraim, and he built the city and dwelt there. These are their inheritances which Eliezer the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel divided for an inheritance by law in Shiloh before Yahweh at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, so they made an end of dividing the country. Ooh, that uh, that chapter would be best read with a, an old map of Israel showing the... Uh, Territories of the children of Israel. You can find them online. Just type, you know, the old territories of the children of Israel. And uh, I've seen some really good ones where it, like, outlines each territory uh, in different colors for each of the tribes. It's pretty cool. Joshua 20. Yahweh also spoke spake to, unto Joshua, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, Appoint out for you cities of refuge whereof I spake unto you by the hand of Moses. But the slayer that killeth any person unawares and unwittingly may flee thither, and they shall be your refuge from the avenger of blood. And when he that doth flee unto one of those cities shall stand at the entering of the gate of the city, and shall declare his cause in the ears of the elders of that city, they shall take him into the city unto them, and give him a place that he may dwell among them. And if the avenger of blood pursue after him, then they shall not deliver the slayer, up into the hand because he smote his neighbor unwittingly and hated him not before time and he shall dwell in that city until he stand before the congregation for judgment and until the death of the high priest that shall be in those days then shall the slayer return and come into his own city and unto his own house unto the city from whence he fled and they appointed Kadesh in Galilee in Mount Naphtali and Shechem in Mount Ephraim and Kerjath Arba which is Hebron in the mountain of Judah and on the other side, Jordan by Jericho eastward, they assigned Bezer in the wilderness upon the plain out of the tribe of Reuben, and Ramoth and Gilead out of the tribe of Gad, and Golan and Bashan out of the tribe of Manasseh. These were the cities appointed for all the children of Israel, and for the stranger that sojourneth among them, that whosoever killeth any person at unawares might flee thither, and not die by the hand of the avenger of blood, until he stood before the congregation. Joshua 21. Then came near the heads of the fathers of the Levites unto Eleazar the priest, and unto Joshua the son of Nun, and unto the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel. They spake unto them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan, saying, Yahweh commanded by the hand of Moses to give us cities to dwell in, with the suburbs thereof for our cattle. And the children of Israel gave unto the Levites out of their inheritance at the commandment of Yahweh these cities and their suburbs. And the lot came out for the families of the Kohathites and the children of Aaron. The priest, which were of the Levites, had by lot out of the tribe of Judah, and out of the tribe of Simeon, and out of the tribe of Benjamin, thirteen cities. And the rest of the children of Kohath had by lot out of the families of the tribe of Ephraim, and out of the tribe of Dan, and out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, ten cities. And the children of Gershon had by lot out of the families of the tribe of Issachar, and out of the tribe of Asher, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, and out of the tri half-tribe of Manasseh, in Bashan, thirteen cities. The children of Merari, by their families, had out of the tribe of Reuben, and out of the tribe of Gad, and out of the tribe of Zebulun, twelve cities. And the children of Israel gave by lot unto the Levites these cities with their suburbs, 
as Yahweh commanded by the hand of Moses. And they gave out to the tribe of the children of Judah and out to the tribe of the children of Simeon these cities which are here mentioned by name, which the children of Aaron, being of the families of the Kohathites, who were of the children of Levi, had, for there was the first lot. And they gave them the city of Arba, the family of Anak, which city is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah, with the suburbs thereof round about it. But the fields of the city and the villages thereof gave they to Caleb, the son of Japuna, for his possession. Thus they gave to the children of Aaron, the priest, Hebron with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Libna with her suburbs, and Jatir with her suburbs, and Eshtemoa with her suburbs, and Holon with her suburbs, and Debir with her suburbs, and Ain with her suburbs, and Juta with her suburbs, and Beth Shemesh with her suburbs. Nine cities out to the, those two tribes. Lots of suburbs here. And out of the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon with her suburbs, Geba with her suburbs, Anath with her suburbs, and Almon with her suburbs, four cities. All the cities of the children of Aaron, the priests, were thirteen cities with their suburbs, and the families of the children of Kohath, the Levites, which remained of the children of Kohath, even they had the cities of their lot out of the tribe of Ephraim. They gave them Shechem with her suburbs and Mount Ephraim to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Gezer with her suburbs, and Ibzaim with her suburbs, and Beth Horon with her suburbs, four cities, and unto the tribe of Dan, El Keteth with her suburbs, Gibbethon with her suburbs, Adjelon with her suburbs, Gathrimon with her suburbs, four cities, and unto the half tribe of Manasseh, Tanakh with her suburbs, and Gathrimon with her suburbs, two cities. All the cities were ten with their suburbs for the families of the children of Kohath that remained. And to the children of Gershon of the families of the Levites out of the other half tribe of Manasseh they gave Golan and Bashan with her suburbs to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Bish Terah with her suburbs, two cities. And out to the tribe of Issachar, Kishon with her suburbs, Dabera with her suburbs, Jarmuth with her suburbs, and Ganim with her suburbs, four cities, and out to the tribe of Asher, Mishal with her suburbs, Abdon with her suburbs, Helkath with her suburbs, and Rehob with her suburbs, four cities, and out to the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh, and Galilee with her suburbs to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Hamoth, Dor with her suburbs, and Kartan with her suburbs, three cities. All the cities of the Gershonites, according to their families, were thirteen cities with their suburbs. And unto the families of the children of Merari, the rest of the Levites, out of the tribe of Zebulun, Rachniam with her suburbs, and Karta with her suburbs, Dimna with her suburbs, Nahalal with her suburbs, four cities, and out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer with her suburbs, and Jezaha with her suburbs, Kedemoth with her suburbs, Mephathath with her suburbs, four cities, and to the tribe of Gad, Ramoth, and Gilead with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Mahanaim with her suburbs, Heshbon with her suburbs, Jazer with her suburbs, four cities in all. So all the cities for the children of Merari by their families, which were remaining of the families of the Levites, were by their lot twelve cities. All the cities of the Levites within the possession of the children of Israel were forty and eight cities with their suburbs. These cities were every one with their suburbs round about them, thus were all of the cities. And Yahweh gave unto Israel all the land which he sware to give unto their fathers, and they possessed it and dwelt therein. And Yahweh gave them rest round about according to all that he sware unto their fathers. And there stood not a man of all their enemies before them. Yahweh, had, uh, Yahweh delivered all their enemies into their hand. There fell not aught of any good thing which Yahweh had spoken unto the house of Israel. All came to pass. Joshua 22 Then Joshua called the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half-tribe of Manasseh, and said unto them, Ye have kept all that Moses the servant of Yahweh commanded you, and have obeyed my voice in all that I commanded you. Ye have not left your brethren these many days unto this day, but have kept the charge of the commandment of Yahweh your Elohim. And now Yahweh your Elohim hath given rest unto your brethren, as ye promised them. Therefore now return ye, and get you into your tents, and unto the land of your possession, which Moses the servant of Yahweh gave you on the other side Jordan. But take diligent heed to do the commandment and the law which Moses the servant of Yahweh charged you, to love Yahweh your Elohim, 
and to walk in all his ways and to keep his commandments and to cleave unto him and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. So Joshua blessed them and sent them away and they went unto their tents. Now to the one half of the tribe of Manasseh and Moses had given possession in Bashan, but unto the other half thereof gave Joshua among their brethren on this side Jordan westward. And when Joshua sent them away also into their tents, then he blessed them. He spake unto them, saying, Return with much riches unto your tents, and with very much cattle, with silver and with gold, and with brass, and with iron, and with very much raiment, to buy the spoil of your enemies with your brethren. The children of Reuben and the children of Gad and half the tribe of Manasseh returned and departed from the children of Israel out of Shiloh, which is in the land of Canaan, to go into this country of Gilead, to the land of their possession, whereof they were possessed, according to to the word of Yahweh by the hand of Moses. And when they came into the borders of Jordan, they that are in the land of Canaan, the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and half the tribe of Manasseh built there an altar by Jordan, a great altar to see. And the children of Israel heard say, Behold, the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and half the tribe of Manasseh have built an altar over against the land of Canaan in the borders of Jordan at the passage of the children of Israel. And when the children of Israel heard of it, the whole congregation of the children of Israel gathered themselves together at Shiloh to go up to war against them. And the children of Israel sent unto the children of Reuben, into the children of Gad, into the half tribe of Manasseh, into the land of Gilead, Phinehas the son of Eleazar the priest, and with him ten princes, each chief of a house uh, prince throughout all the tribes of Israel. And each one was an head of the house of their fathers among the thousands of Israel. And they came into the children of Reuben, and to the children of Gad, and to the half tribe of Manasseh, unto the land of Gilead, and they spake with them, saying, Thus saith the whole congregation of Yahweh, What trespass is this that ye have committed against Elohim of Israel, to turn away this day from following Yahweh, and that ye have builded an, you an altar, that ye might rebel this day against Yahweh? Is the iniquity of Peor too little for us, from which we are not cleansed unto this day, although there was a plague in the congregation of Yahweh? But that ye must turn away this day from following Yahweh, and it will be seen ye rebel today against Yahweh, that tomorrow he will be wroth with the whole congregation of Israel. Notwithstanding, if the land of your possession be unclean, then pass ye over unto the land of the possession of Yahweh, wherein Yahweh's tabernacle dwelleth, and take possession among us. But rebel not against Yahweh, nor rebel against us, in building you an altar beside the altar of Yahweh, our Elohim. Did not Achan the son of Zerah commit a trespass in the accursed thing, and wrath fell upon all the congregation of Israel, and that man perished not alone in his iniquity? And the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and half the tribe of Manasseh answered and said unto the heads of the thousands of Israel, Yahweh, Elohim of gods, be Yahweh, Elohim of gods. He knoweth, and Israel he shall know, if it be in rebellion or if it, it in transgression against Yahweh. Save us not this day, that we have built us an altar to turn from following Yahweh, or if to offer thereon burnt offering or meat offering, or if it to offer peace offerings thereon, let Yahweh require himself require it. And if we have not rather done it for fear of this thing, saying in time to come your children might speak unto our children, saying, What have ye done ye to do with Yahweh Elohim of Israel? For Yahweh hath made Jordan a border between us and you, ye children of Reuben and children of Gad. Ye have no part in Yahweh. So shall your children make our children cease from fearing Yahweh. Therefore we said, Let us not prepare to build an, us an altar, not for burnt offering nor for sacrifice, but that it may be a witness between us and you and our generations after us, that we might do the service of Yahweh before him with our burnt offerings and with our sacrifices and with our peace offerings, that your children may not say to our children in time to come, you have no part in Yahweh. Therefore said we that it shall be when they should so say to us or to our generations in time to come, that we may say again, Behold the pattern of the altar of Yahweh, which our fathers made, not for burnt offerings or nor for sacrifice, but is a witness between us and you. Elohim forbid that we should rebel against Yahweh and turn this day from following Yahweh to build an altar for burnt offerings, for meat offerings or for sacrifices, beside the altar of Yahweh our Elohim that is before his tabernacle. And when Phinehas the priest and the, the princes of the congregation, the heads of the thousands of Israel which were with him, heard the words that the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the children of Manasseh spake, it pleased them. And Phinehas the son of Eleazar the priest said unto the children of Reuben, and to the children of Gad, and to the children of Manasseh, 
This day we perceive that Yahweh is among us, because ye have not committed this trespass against Yahweh. Now ye have delivered the children of Israel out of the hand of Yahweh. And Phinehas, the son of Eleazar the priest, and the princes returned from the children of Reuben and from the children of Gad out to the land of Gilead, unto the land of Canaan, to the children of Israel, and brought them word again. And the thing pleased the children of Israel, and the children of Israel blessed Elohim, and did not intend to go up against them in, in battle, to destroy the land wherein the children of Reuben and Gad dwelt. And the children of Reuben and the children of Gad called the altar Ed, for it shall be a witness between us that Yahweh is Elohim. Joshua 23 And it came to pass a long time after that Yahweh had given rest unto Israel from all their enemies round about that Joshua waxed old and stricken in age. Joshua called for all Israel and for their elders and for their heads and for their judges and for their officers and said unto them, I am old and stricken in age. And ye have seen all that Yahweh your Elohim hath done unto all these nations because of you. For Yahweh your Elohim is he that hath fought for you. Behold, I have divided unto you by lot these nations that remain to be an inheritance for your tribes, from Jordan with all the nations that I have cut off even unto the great sea westward. And Yahweh your Elohim, he shall expel them from before you, drive them from out of your sight, and ye shall possess their land as Yahweh your Elohim hath promised unto you. Be ye therefore very courageous to keep and do all that is written in the book of the law, of Moses, that ye turn not aside there from to the right hand or to the left, that ye come not among these nations, these that remain among you, neither make mention of the name of their gods, nor cause to swear by them, neither serve them, nor bow yourselves unto them, but cleave unto Yahweh your Elohim, as ye have done unto this day. For Yahweh hath driven out from before you great nations and strong, but as for you, no man hath been able to stand before you unto this day. One man of you shall chase a thousand for Yahweh your Elohim, he it is that fighteth for you, as he hath promised you. Take good heed therefore unto yourselves that ye love Yahweh your Elohim. Else if ye do in any wise go back and cleave unto the remnant of these nations, even these that remain among you, and shall make marriages with them, and go in unto them, and they to you. Know for a certainty that Yahweh your Elohim will no more drive out any of these nations from before you, but they shall be snares and traps unto you, and scourges in your sides, and thorns in your eyes, until ye perish from off this good land which Yahweh your Elohim hath given you. And behold, this day I am going the way of all the earth. Know in all your hearts and in all your souls that not one thing hath failed of all the good things which Yahweh your Elohim spake concerning you. All are come to pass unto you, and not one thing hath failed thereof. Therefore it shall come to pass that as all good things are come upon you, which Yahweh your Elohim promised you, so shall Yahweh bring you upon bring upon you all evil things, until he have destroyed you from off this good land which Yahweh your Elohim hath given you. When ye have transgressed the covenant of Yahweh your Elohim, which he commanded you, and have gone and served other gods, and bowed yourselves to them, then shall the anger of Yahweh be kindled against you, and ye shall perish quickly from off the good land which he hath given you. Joshua 24 Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel, Shechem, and called for the elders of Israel, and for their heads, and for their judges, and for their officers. And they presented themselves before Elohim. And Joshua said unto all the people, Thus saith Yahweh, Elohim of Israel, your fathers dwelt on the other side of the flood in old time, even Terah, the father of Abraham, and the father of Nachor, and they served other gods. And I took your father Abraham from the other side of the flood, and led him throughout all the land of Canaan, and multiplied his seed, and gave him Isaac. And I gave unto Isaac Jacob and Esau, and I gave unto Esau Mount Seir to possess it, but Jacob and his children went down into Egypt. I sent Moses also and Aaron, and I plagued Egypt according to that which I did among them, and afterward I brought you out. And I brought your fathers out of Egypt, and ye came unto the sea, and the Egyptians pursued after you, your fathers with chariots and horsemen unto the Red Sea. 
And when they cried unto Yahweh, he put darkness between you and the Egyptians and brought the sea upon them and covered them. And your eyes have seen what I have done in Egypt. And ye dwelt in the wilderness a long season. And I brought you into the land of the Amorites, which dwelt on the other side Jordan. And they fought with you, and I gave them into your hand, that ye might possess their land. And I destroyed them from before you. Then Balak the son of Zippor, king of Moab, arose and warned, warred against Israel and sent and called Balaam the son of Beor to curse you. But I would not hearken unto Balaam, therefore he blessed you still, so I delivered you out of his hand. And he went over Jordan and came unto Jericho, and the men of Jericho fought against you, the Amorites and the Pezrites and the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Girgashites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, and I delivered them into your hand. And I sent the hornet before you, which drave them out from before you, even the two kings of the Amorites, but not with thy sword nor with thy bow. And I have given you a land for which ye did not labor, the cities which ye built not, and ye dwell in them, and the vineyards and olive yards which ye planted not, do ye eat. Now therefore fear Yahweh, and serve him in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt, and serve ye Yahweh. And if it seem evil unto you to serve Yahweh, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve Yahweh. The people answered and said, Elohim forbid that we should forsake Yahweh to serve other gods. For Yahweh our Elohim, he it is that brought us up and, and our fathers out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage, and which did those great signs in our sight, and preserved us in all the way wherein we went and among all the people through whom we passed. And Yahweh drave out from before us all the people, even the Amorites, which dwelt in the land. Therefore we will also serve Yahweh, for he is our Elohim. And Joshua said unto the people, We cannot serve Yahweh, for he is a holy Elohim. He is a jealous Elohim. He will not forgive your transgressions nor your sins. If ye forsake Yahweh and serve strange gods, then he will turn and do you hurt and consume you after that he hath done you good. And the people said unto Joshua, Nay, but we will serve Yahweh. And Joshua said unto the people, Ye are a witness against yourselves that ye have chosen you, Yahweh, to serve him. And they said, We are witnesses. And therefore put away, he said, strange gods which are among you, and incline your heart unto Yahweh, Elohim of Israel. And the people said unto Joshua, Yahweh our Elohim will we serve, and his voice we will obey. And Joshua made a covenant with the people that day, and set them a statute and an ordinance in Shechem. And Joshua wrote, these words in the book of the law of God, and took a great stone and set it up there under an oak that was by the sanctuary of Yahweh. And Joshua said unto all the people, Behold, this stone shall be a witness unto us, for it hath heard all the words of Yahweh which he spake unto us, and it shall be therefore a witness unto you, lest ye deny your Elohim. So Joshua let the people depart every man unto his inheritance. And it came to pass after these things that Joshua the son of Nun, the servant of Yahweh, died, being a hundred and ten years old. And they buried him in the border of his inheritance in Timath Serah, which is in Mount Ephraim, on the north side of the hill of Gahash. And Israel served Yahweh all the days of Joshua, and all the days of the elders that overlived Joshua, and which had known all the works of Yahweh that he had done for Israel. And the bones of Joseph, which the children of Israel brought out of Egypt, buried they in Shechem, in a parcel of ground which Jacob bought of the sons of Hamor, the father of Shechem, for a hundred pieces of silver, and it became the inheritance of the children of Joseph. And Eleazar the son of Aaron died, and they buried him in a hill that pertained to Phinehas his son, which was given him in Mount Ephraim. Okay, that was a, a lot to digest, but uh, we finally finished Joshua. And reading all this thing, all these things about, you know, them serving Yahweh and not serving other gods um, you know it's sad but we know from reading the Old Testament previously that they do they do turn from uh, from from Yahweh and serve other gods which are basically devils demons um, and they fall so bad into sin constantly over and over and over again over and over until finally they're taken away to Babylon but 
We're going to be getting into uh, judges tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great evening, morning, noon, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Take care. God bless. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Have faith in him. Have trust in him. And keep waiting upon him and you'll never be sorry. We'll see you tomorrow, God willingly, with the start of Judges. Thanks again. We'll see you later.